Daly Blint. Van Persie with an early run. He's onside this time. It's 1-1. Welcome everybody to another episode of The Pen, where we are the home of NSR soccer, not only nationally, but internationally as well. And tonight I am uh, joined by a very special guest, Miss Elise uh, Chafin, uh, class of 2020. She's a defending mid center, a holy midfielder, um, solid as a rock, strong, fast, wins the ball in the air, is not very easily dispossessed at all, and is very, very good on the 1v1 challenges and the 50-50 challenges. Definitely someone to watch uh, over the next couple of years when she hits the collegiate stage. So, Elise, welcome. Hi, thank you. So, um, I know you're in club season right now because your high school is later. So, why don't you tell me a little bit about how the club season's been going? You know, I know you play that holding midfield role, that DMC role, but, you know, tell us a little bit about any of the uh, clean sheets you may have had, highlights of the season, so anything like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I heard my first highlights actually occurred last week in my last game. Um, I had a free kick on the right side of the 18th, and um, I went and I picked a curved ball and um, landed right in the back of the net up and up. So that's definitely a big accomplishment for me. Yeah, I need. I didn't. I I didn't get that, so I need that video. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so um, what else? Anything else? I mean, I know you've had a few shutouts, any assists, anything like that? Yeah, um, I have three assists on the season going down the left side on my left hand to get the ball in and properly. Um, well, so um, I've been successful in my area as well. Okay, great, great. Um, and I know that, like, academically, you're, you're stellar. Uh, National Honor Society. Um, 4.0 GPA. Um, I know that you recently visited West Point, and I and and you know you have a desire to go serve our military, so you know that touches me, right in my heart there. But um, so let's talk talk a little bit about your academics. How are things going? And your SAT score. Talk about how you know things are going there and how it's settling in. Um, my current ACT score is a 26 right now. Um, I've actually been seeing a tutor twice a week for the past three weeks, and um, I, the ACT the past weekend I should hear about my new course in the next week or so, and then I will also be taking the ACT again on December 14th, so I will get those scores back immediately, and just based on being with the tutor of the week, I already felt a lot more confident on the last tip that I took, and I really believe that the score has improved substantially. So I think that will help me to be successful academically as well as um, physically in the soccer collegiate world. Oh, okay, good, good. So um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a look at a couple of your highlight clips, okay? And then when we're done, we're going to come out. And then we're going to talk about them, and then we're going to talk a little bit about your recruiting process and where you might stand, okay? Perfect. All right, so we're going to go to the video right now, okay? You are definitely someone that can set the back, um, even at that holding midfield and that DMC role. I like you more as a holding midfielder because, like you said, you just scored. Uh, you know, a, a hit the top um, top corner on uh, free kick. So you have you're the whole package, especially when it um, comes to 
protecting the spine and moving in and out and helping with defenders. So that we we, we um, have no issues with. Um, so one of, one of the things that we did talk about earlier too is your SATs. Now you have over a 1200 SAT score, am I correct? Yes, yes, I, I have a 1210. 1210, okay, so good, that's awesome. And so why don't you tell us a little bit why, uh, where you're at in the recruiting process? Um, in my recruiting process so far, I've had multiple contacts with various um, all candidates. Um, I've been on one unofficial visit and I've received one official offer. Okay, great. Okay, great. So, you know, that, that's great to hear because that means, you know, you're going to have a commitment coming soon, but we want it to be to the right school, right? The right social yeah. environment, academic environment, athletic environment. You know, I have no doubt about it um, that you're going to be really successful um, at the collegiate level. Any coach is going to be extremely happy to have you. Um, so real fast as we're coming to the end, um, the question I always ask everybody, um, why would I want to give you an athletic scholarship? Why would I want to invest in Elise Chafin as opposed to somebody else? Why would I want to give you that, that scholarship opportunity? For me personally, I think what what sets me apart from other projects is the fact that I have the determination to move on and on the school. I am very invested in both my athletic and academic career. I think that will make me very successful at a level. Awesome. That's awesome. Good. So, Elise, thank you for being on. Um, I really appreciate it. I know I'm looking forward to seeing that goal. So, you're going to email me that for sure. Um, and uh, I know we're going to be talking a lot in the next coming weeks about what's going on in your collegiate career and all those other things. So thank you very much for being on. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Yeah. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, so we'll see you next time on The Pen. And as always, God bless. Stay tuned. And Semper Fidelis.